Hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to be um, installing this new uh, ESOPS Prodigy L to my 75 gallon tank that I was going to tell you guys I was going to do. Uh, so uh, what I did was that I um, did some preliminary uh, measurements so that I can uh, show it to you. Uh, these tanks are not rimless so it has this thick plastic piece around the top. So if you go by their measurements with this template, what happens is that this template pushes up against the, the black piece here and it's gonna make this return the weir too far down. It will go too far down on the tank because the weir will come all the way down to here. You know, you, where your tank uh, edge is all the way up here. So these things are made for uh, the drumless tanks. So to uh, adjust to that, you're gonna have to adjust this template. So to use it, you can't use what they have here because like I said, it's, it's that thick up on the top and this thin in the middle, I mean on the bottom. And if I do this, it's too low. And if I do this, put it at the top like this, it's too high. So what happens is that, what happens is that if I do this way, it's too high, and the lip of the tank right here, this thing's gonna sit on it like this, and it's gonna be a gap right here, and it's gonna leak. So what I have to do is I have to actually push this thing down to at least here. So that way, when it comes up, it's flush against the, the glass right here. Okay, so you don't want to do this because when you do this, there's a gap and it's going to leak. Okay, so what I did is um, I will show you what I did, how to measure, how to measure um, the right way. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, uh, I'm back. And there's also another way of. Uh, measuring this um, where the you want the box to be okay so the way I told you was that you know you line this thing up um, this way and then square it off and then put the box on top just a review real quick and then measure where you want to be and then square it off and secure it you know with um, with clamps okay now there's also another way if you want to do is you can um, there's these little as you can see little numbers here one inch one and a half inch okay these are for these lips here um, different size lip for tanks okay so you what you can do is you can it won't be flat on your tank but it uh, is pretty close and what you can do is you can start out with uh, like my lip is almost one and a half okay so if you did it one and a half and you put the box on top it's not going to work because the edge of the box is over the lip and remember it'll make a gap and it'll leak so one and a half is too much okay so what you could do is you can move it down until you see that I can see there's light in between between the, the, the box and the lip, which is enough for me. Um, and it actually lines up with the bottom of the arrow. I can see here, okay? So if I put this here, it's pretty close, okay? So I'm gonna take a, a square, I'm gonna square it off. That way I make sure it's squared. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm looking down on it. It looks like from the arrow, it looks pretty straight. And I put this on top. And Pretty close, guys. Really close. Okay. 
So remember, the hole is bigger. It's bigger than this, so you can actually move this around, move the box around just a little bit, you know, to adjust. Okay. So I can see that. Just a double check. Put the box on top. <sighs> I'm going to give it a little bit more space just in case. I don't like it being that close. where I want it to be. Alright, so now I'm going to double check again. Ah. <laughs> I should have a clamp on it. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and get a clamp on it. Okay, I'm back. Um, I went ahead and secure the template and then I squared it off. Make sure it's squared. All right. And then remember, measure twice, cut once. I went ahead and lined up the holes, make sure everything's okay there. All right. Double check this one too down on it that thing is just right these teeth right here the bottom of the teeth is right where the the black lip is on this okay that's where I want it to be okay well it looks pretty good I secured it um, I just double check online that uh, marine land tanks 75 gallon is tempered on the bottom but not tempered on the side these are glass and some people online confirmed it they drilled their side of their glass and it wasn't tempered and I did a test um, you know the uh, polarized sunglasses test and it looked like it's um, it turned black so that's when it said it's, it's glass not tempered so this is uh, hopefully this is uh, true what it says online right I believe what uh, what's on the internet <laughs> so hopefully um, it will work all right so I'm gonna get ready uh, get the drill ready and uh, we're gonna start drilling. All right. Okay, I'm back. Um, we're gonna start drilling. Okay. So make sure you run water. I just set a hose here and ran the water. Um, I have a, a a cordless power drill. Since we're dealing with water, I didn't want to do um, AC. You know, so water and electricity doesn't mix so I went ahead and used my my um, battery power hopefully it's fast enough I think it should be okay okay all right they tell you not to put pressure on it Good. they did tell you to put something underneath of it and I didn't do that so I'm gonna go ahead and put something underneath of it so they will catch the the glass so it don't fall and break the glass underneath so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now okay I'm back so I went ahead and put it this little piece of wood that I got um, sitting around um, I don't know why I kept it but I guess it came in handy um, it was from the furniture that was sent to us and it came in these little flat pieces of uh, wood that was stapled onto uh, 
I don't know, to keep it together, but I kept it for some reason, so now I'm going to use it. And most likely after this, that particle board is going to fall apart and I can throw it away. But they want you to have something underneath to, uh, <clears throat> to support the, the glass and not fall down on the bottom. So let's, uh, we're going to do that again. I'm going to start it, start it back up and make sure you wear your safety glasses if you have goggles. Um, and if you want to wear gloves, you can wear gloves or uh, you can um, uh, wear a mask um, if you don't want dust, glass dust to fall on you or um, smell it in. Okay. All right, let's start back up. I did a little bit. It's never too much water, okay? So make sure you have enough water in there. And they tell you to be patient, okay? Don't push on it, just let the weight of the drill push down on it. And then at the end, when you feel like it's getting ready to go through, then you can put a little bit of pressure on it. You can never be too careful. through or halfway through. You can feel the water it's still cold. So as long as the water is cold, I can see it through the glass. I'm almost through. Check this thing, see if it's if it broke through here. It has not broke through yet, so really close though. There's water leaking down on it, so one part of it must have broke through. Try to avoid this chip on this side. I can do it, do it without getting this chip on there. That would be.
second one. And this, I can see a little chip on that side too. Uh, okay, that's done. All right, let me take everything off. Let you guys see. So we'll take a look. The holes here. It's smooth on this side, but when it fell underneath, um, I can see where it kind of chipped it on the edge. But nothing too serious. Yeah, I can feel it right here. But not bad. My first time. That was kind of scary, but. Um, you know, it's just uh, be patient and um, just let the pressure of the drill weigh down on it and be patient and take your time and, and you can do it. Okay. All right, now let's uh, put the box on and see what it looks like. Okay, now I'm going to, after drilling the hole, I'm going to go ahead and put the box on and see what it looks like inside. All right. That's the ultimate, ultimate uh, test here that how well I did. So I put the, the inside here. Wow. I don't know if you can see it, but this thing is right up against the right up against this plastic piece up here. The the cross brace and and the the lip here. I don't think I could have given any more space up on that. I thought I gave it a little bit more a little more space but because I always like to have a little bit of leeway you know so remember to put these rubber pieces on And I'll show you once I put everything together how actually close it is. Right, just tighten it by hand. Remember, I said that this thing actually can still have a little bit of leeway up and down. It doesn't really matter because the back, the the, the inside weird is where it's most important where you place it. Back here, I still have space. I'm going to show you closer. Okay, I have a little bit of space. You can see underneath there. See it? I can stick my finger through there. That's perfect. That's where I want it to be. Okay. And then like I said, it, it, I can move it up a little bit or down a little bit, but it doesn't matter. And it's level. I squared it. So now it's squared there. And let's look on the other side. I was telling you earlier, see how close that lip is right here? I would like to have it a little bit of space in there more but uh that's okay and then you can see here here's the teeth and the water line so it's really close to this um lip the black lip that you can see from from this side 
So, yeah. so remember, I can flip this around and make it lower if I need to. Okay. But it uh, looks like it's pretty good. That's perfect. Came out really a lot better than I thought. Okay. So what we're going to do now, uh, I'm going to do is I'm going to drill two more holes. One here and one here for a water return. It's going to be three quarter inch size. One there and one here. So, all right, that'll be um, the next thing I'm going to be doing. All right, this turned out really good. I'm really happy that that it turned out perfect the way I want it to be. All right. All right, if you liked the video, um, hit like on it and uh, um, subscribe. I'm gonna be doing much more with this 75 gallon, so this is just the beginning. All right, thank you for watching. Have a good day.